and welcome to English Parliamentary News. I'm Septia Chaniago. In this edition, we we'll present all the latest and interesting information around the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia. Responding to the polemic in the employment creation law, especially is regarding foreign workers, Commission 9 of the House assesses the public should not be careless in facing this plan. Speaking in the plenary session, Vice Chairman of Commission 9 of the House, Nihayatul Wafiro, states, Omnibus law on the employment creation aims to open investment opportunities widely to investors who have been complaining about too many regulations in Indonesia. Nihayatul Confis, Commission 9 have opened hearings for laborers who feel threatened by this policy. She hopes there will be no more miscommunication of developing plans and calls the government to prioritize domestic workers. Apa yang menjadi landasan mereka tidak menjalankan kesepakatan-kesepakatan dari rapat tanggal 12, 12 Desember kemarin. Pada di rapat tersebut sudah jelas bahwa tanggal 1 Januari memastikan untuk tidak ada kenaikan. Kalaupun ada kenaikan yaitu selisihnya dibayar oleh surplus yang dari kelas-kelas yang lain. Iya. Member of Commission 9 of the House, Adang Sudraja, deplores the plan of rain workers' entry in Indonesia. According to Adang, this policy has an enormous effect in the community and the labors since the number of employment rates increases as a result of the weakening economy. Adang also highlights the purchasing power of workers which is increasingly declining due to the many increases in fuel and electricity rates. Bahwa ini disepakati tidak naik, ya tidak naik. Bisa jadi mungkin pemerintah ini untuk cabut perpres itu agak, agak berat gitu ya. Belum tentu kenaikan ini menjadi pemecahan secara menyeluruh. Ini baru berapa persen lah. Kalau saya bilang mungkin di bawah 20 persen persoalannya selesai. Masih banyak persoalan lain. Alda, Rian, and Septia, TVR Parliament Report. Commission 1 of the House encourages increased cooperation between Indonesia and Azerbaijan. Speaking after welcoming the visit of Azerbaijan's ambassador to Indonesia, Jalal Mirzayev, Chairman of Commission 1 of the House, Mutia Hafid Kunfis, besides increasing long-standing cooperation, Jalal Mirzayev also offers Indonesian pilgrims to visit the capital of Azerbaijan to share information and history about the rifle of Islam to Azerbaijan. Mutia Kunfis, Azerbaijan asks for parliamentary support in the field of defense to safeguard sovereignty from Armenian attacks. As Azerbaijan supports the sovereignty of Indonesia in North Natuna Sea during international forums. Tentu dia juga mengamati perkembangan di Laut Natuna Utara dan menyatakan supportnya atas kedaulatan ataupun hak berdaulat Indonesia di Laut uh, Natuna Utara dan akan membantu dalam kapasitas uh, sebisanya sebagai negara sahabat uh, dan juga sebagai member atau anggota dari PBB yang memang kemudian telah melahirkan uh, aturan internasional di bawah UNCLOS. Mutia hopes one of the main collaborations in the energy sector between Indonesia and Azerbaijan will continue. Mutia also sees the potential for good cooperation in the field of integrated information technology application in service and protection of workers which is being promoted by Azerbaijan's government. Presiden direncanakan akan berkunjung ke Australia pada bulan Februari tadi juga membahas mengenai persiapan dan bagaimana Australia uh, akan menyambut presiden. Di situ presiden akan berbicara di hadapan uh, Parlemen Australia. Jadi tidak hanya bertemu dengan pemerintah Australia tapi Parlemen Australia. Uh, dari situ mereka akan menunggu kira-kira apa yang akan menjadi key messages atau poin bahan utama yang disampaikan presiden. Helmi Teguh and Septia, TVR Parliament Report. Responding to the concern of losing investors after the formation of Working Committee of Jiwasraya, Member of Commission 9 of the House pushes the government to create conducive atmosphere in order to keep investors in Indonesia. Speaking in the Santara Building of the House, Vice Chairman of Commission 11 of the House, Eriko Sotarduga says the concerns related to investment securities are reasonable. But stable capital market conditions can also encourage investors to continue investing in Indonesia. Eriko encourages state-owned enterprise and the government to stay calm in facing Jiwasraya case in order to maintain investors' trust. 
Sebenarnya intinya apa yang dilakukan Komisi 11? Kenapa Komisi 11 tidak katakan tidak reaktif dengan segala hal? Karena memang penting sekali menjaga kepercayaan daripada uh, investor, daripada yang menanamkan uangnya. Dan ini juga penting bagi semua bahwa sistem ini berjalan dengan semakin baik ke depannya. Ini kan juga menjadi catatan, menjadi evaluasi bagi kami. Makanya... According to Eriko, Jiwasraya case is the beginning for the House and the government to evaluate laws related to financial institution because the existence of new financial institutions with new system is increasing but not considered with regulations that are in accordance with current development. Kita juga akan mengevaluasi undang-undang OJK, BI, juga uh, katakan pasar modal ini karena memang sudah tidak tidak sesuai dengan situasi kekinian, kekinian ada yang namanya fintech, peer-to-peer -peer lending. Nah, ini juga semua harus harus dibahas di diberikan apa ya? Diberikan satu sistem ruang yang benar dan baik sehingga siapa saja yang berinvestasi itu akan mempunyai satu keyakinan bahwa ini berjalan dengan baik. Panji Rizki and Septia TPR Parlemen Report. Commission 10 of the House highlights Indonesian education that is still lagging behind and encourages improvement of teachers' qualification in order to create superior students. Speaking after the public hearing meeting with rectors and teachers in Nusantara 1 building of the House, Senayan, Jakarta, Vice Chairman of Commission 10 of the House, Dede Yusuf, highlights the results of survey programs for international student assessment or PISA, where Indonesian education ranks the lowest three from 70 countries in the world. Dede opines the lacks because teachers' education qualifications are not in accordance with their competences, means not all teachers teach subjects that are in accordance with their competences. Maya yang dilakukan selama ini, seperti membuat dukungan-dukungan, uh, sarana-prasarana ekosistem pendidikan, termasuk tunjangan-tunjangan guru, tidak berdampak efektif terhadap pelajar-pelajar kita. Member of Commission 10 of the House Putra Nababan says the teaching methods and patterns in Indonesia should not be just teacher centered but students must be able to interact, think and be creative. Putra Nababan demands the Ministry of Education to improve teachers' competency by providing various trainings. Pendekatan paradigma yang berubah terkait dengan uh, metode dan pola pendidikan kita. Di mana dengan Menteri yang baru, Nadiem Makarim, uh, fokus yang kita berikan adalah fokus pada guru. Bagaimana guru juga uh, memberikan ruang kepada murid-muridnya untuk mereka bisa uh, berinteraksi, melakukan engagement di kelas, mereka bisa berpendapat, mereka bisa berkreasi. Bondan, Rian, and Septia, TPR Parliament Report. Commission 2 of the House will study the plan of clause proportional system in the general election since it has both advantage and disadvantage. Speaking in Nusantara Building of the House, Nayan, Jakarta, Vice Chairman of Commission 2 of the House, Arwani Tomafi, says the clause proportional system needs an in-depth study since it only allows people to vote for political party. On the other hand, the system is a challenge for the parties as they are required to find the best cadres to be nominated as legislative members. Kalau tertutup kembali kepada partai politik, kepada tanda gambar, maka problem bagaimana uh, rekrutmen calon legislatif itu betul-betul transparan, transparan, akuntabel, itu menjadi PR bagi partai politik. Nah, saya kira ini juga penting untuk kita diskusikan. ya. Meanwhile, another member of Commission 2 of the House, Agung Widyan Toro, says the plan of close proportional system emerges because political parties don't want to lose their best cadres. On the contrary, they must guarantee the consequences of the democratic process, in particular to keep internal parties going well. Tetapi kalau dengan proporsional tertutup, menggunakan nomor urut, nah tinggal Bagaimana komitmen partai-partai politik melaksanakan proses demokratisasi secara internal, objektif, dan terbuka. Seseorang ditempatkan nomor urut eh, tertentu karena dia memang satu memiliki PDLT yang bagus, kedua dia memiliki elektabilitas yang cukup. Nadia Kristio Enseptia, TVR Parlemen, Report. 
Commission 2 of the House will further discuss the plan to increase the parliamentary threshold from 4 to 5 percent. The discussion will be done by the Special Committee on the Election Bill. Vice Chairman of Commission 2 of the House, Mohamed Arwani Tomafi, says an increase in the parliamentary threshold will slim down the number of parties in the House, which there will be votes that are not channeled. Therefore, discussion is necessary to respond it. He continues, all efforts are made for the goods of the Republic of Indonesia in the future. Salah satu akibatnya adalah hangusnya banyak suara yang tidak menjadi kursi. Paling penting kita sama-sama uh, pegang adalah bahwa kita ini NKRI, punya keragaman, ya, punya kemajemukan yang kemajemukan inilah justru yang menjadi modal kekuatan kita. Member of Commission 2 of the House, Agung Widentoro opines, there must be further studies related to the 5% parliamentary threshold plan. If this decision is made for the good of the nation and the political conditions, the plan can be carried out. Kondusivitas situasi politik terjaga, tentu ini cukup, uh, apa, cukup, cukup beralasan. Tinggal bagaimana nanti keinginan masing-masing partai yang dijabarkan melalui fraksi-fraksi yang ada di parlemen ini. Gitu. Nadia, Kristio, and Septia, TVR Parliament Report. Vice Chairman of Commission 3 of the House urges the Juridical Commission to be transparent in selecting prospective Supreme Judge. Commission 3 demand the Juridical Commission to pay more attention to professionalism in making selections. Member of Commission 3 of the House, Wihadi Wianto, admits not trusting the selection process by the Juridical Commission because he sees many things are not transparent during the selection process of Supreme Court judge in the previous period. According to Wihadi, Many of their selection results that is being submitted to Commission 3 of the House are not feasible. Commission 3 of the House demands the selected Supreme Court judge to have integrity. Therefore, Commission 3 must be selective and careful to choose the integrated Supreme Court judge. Hasil daripada uh, apa namanya, seleksi yang dilakukan oleh KJ itu yang diajukan kepada Komisi 3 juga banyak yang tidak layak. Sedangkan kita tahu di luar juga banyak sebenarnya hakim-hakim yang bagus, yang, salah, yang sebenarnya mereka layak itu menjadi hakim aku. Member of Commission 3 of the House, Ahmad Dimyanti, states the selection of Supreme Court judge conducted by Kaye has no passing standards and scoring. Moreover, he thinks Kaye must also pay attention to candidate's track record to prevent the bad background of the selected judge and hopes Kaye will improve the system. Uh, qualified ini kurang, ini di atas qualified begitu. Nah terus juga adalah uh, track record. Jadi kalau hakim yang bagus, yang aktif, terus dianggap track recordnya buruk karena apa memutuskan di bawah tuntutan, ini jadi problem. Fitian, Aang, and Septia, TVR Parliament Report. Legislation Committee of the House continues to try optimizing the discussion of the House regulation about procedures for preparing a draft law and carryover mechanism in order to create a shiftment of national legislation program targets. Speaking after the House regulation discussion meeting with a team of experts in the House building Senayan, Jakarta, Vice Chairman of Legislation Committee Ahmad Baidowi says, Discussion of laws that have been carried over are conducted by the Legislation Committee based on studies and assessments according to the needs of the nation and the society. By the way, says, Member of Parliament have the right to propose various draft laws with adequate budget support and expertise support from the Secretariat General. Makna carry over ini sudah banyak salah arti. Di seolah-olah undang-undang ini tidak lanjut, pada prinsipnya yang sudah dibahas kemarin itu bisa dilanjutkan pada periode berikutnya. Satu, pertanyaannya berikutnya, dilanjutkannya mulai kapan? Bahwa ada empat RUU yang bisa di carry over, artinya tidak perlu lagi dibahas dari nol. Member of Legislation Committee of the House, Alita Her says, the carry over is from laws that have been discussed in the previous period then made as proposals in the new period. Based on Article 25 of 1945, 
parliament members may submit draft laws in accordance with legal requirements, priority, and long-term national legislative programs. Maka yang dimaksud dengan carry over itu undang-undang yang sudah dibahas yang lalu yang menjadi prioritas untuk dibahas pada prode berikutnya itu namanya carry over. Pasal 21 Undang-Undang Dasar 90 mengatakan bahwa anggota memiliki hak untuk mengajukan rancang undang-undang. Saya melihat bahwa carry over ini mari kita evaluasi kembali perlu apa tidak yang sudah diamanakan itu. Ajib Tegar and Septia TVR Parliamen Report. And that rounds out today's edition of English Parliamentary News. On behalf of all the crew of TVR Parliament, we would like to thank you for your attention and we will meet again in the next edition of English Parliamentary News. For me, Septia Chaniago, once again, thanks for watching and goodbye.